I pretty much started curling at a really young age and didn't really enjoy like academic, didn't really like going to school. And curling was kind of that one thing that made me really happy. Once I graduated high school, my dad was like, oh, well, if you're not gonna do anything with your life, come and join me at the curling club. I'll teach you, you really like curling. And pretty much just showed me the ropes from that point forward. And it was that one connection to curling, which has made me really, really happy. After every game, you have to put up the scoreboard kind of like any sport. And we have to reset it because no one likes seeing the game that someone else just played. Every curling club is different and every competition is different. So understanding what type of pebble you're using, what the temperature of the ice is, and all these other factors that I try to do in my job to make ice perfect, knowing what they're doing and what is the same or what is different, allows me to pick up on those imperfections in their ice to allow me to play the best that I can play out there. The first step is what we do is something called scraping, where it's a really big machine with a really long, like sharp blade and we cut the ice to be completely flat. And basically it kind of resembles hockey ice by the end of us completing that. Once that is done, we go into pebbling and what we do is we splash water in droplets and we splash it all across all the sheets of play. And they basically create a really bumpy, kind of grippy surface. Once we finish that, we do something called nipping, which is a smaller bladed machine and we've cut the very tops of the pebble to be a semi-round surface, which allows the rock to grab to those uncut surfaces to make the rock curl. The hardest part of being like an ice tech and making curling ice is understanding and like trying to put all together all the other like imperfections that you don't really get to see out there. For all fields of play from recreational all the way to competitive, people want good curling ice. Having ice that is really, really good and having ice that can make people happy is something that we kind of fight for. I love curling and I love being that competitive curler that I have been since I was seven years old. But now being able to kind of see the 180 of it and actually making other people's dreams come true, it's just really gratifying. Hopefully when my competitive career is over in curling, I want to be able to have my own curling club or be a head ice tech and kind of build the dreams of younger curlers coming up and giving people a really good ice service to play on every single day and know that I can be proud of doing that every single day would be an amazing thing that I want to do with my life. I feel that I'm not just a player anymore. I feel like I'm actually part of a curling family. <laughs>